guys, it's LP again with the Jump Volleyball Training Tip of the Week. This week, we're still talking about serve, but this time we're going to talk about what do we do if all the passers on the other side are pretty good passers and we can't really identify a weakness in the serve receivers on the other side of the net. Well, in that case, it's always pretty good to serve the ball to one or to two. Why is that? you have an idea? That's right because it's in the setter's back. So the setter's in position two, if you serve the ball the two or to one, the setter will have to turn around, face the back of the court, and put his shoulders back to the net. So that's one reason. Another reason is that the setter might be coming from one. In that case, the setter could be just hit by the ball and have to play it, so then the set would have to be made by a non-setter. So if we look, at what it looks like from the setter's perspective when the serve is made to one, it looks like this. Okay? You can really only see the back of the court and you can't see your own hitters and you cannot see the blockers on the other side of the court. So it's hard to beat the blockers and it's hard to hit your own hitters with a perfect set. Okay? Now look at this. If you look at the pass from five, now you see that the setter can see his hitter setter can see the blockers on the other side. Now it's much easier for them to build it, build it an attack and um, make a good play to score a point. So in doubt, serve to one, serve to two, it's going to give your team the advantage in most cases and you're just going to be better off this way. So thanks for watching guys. This was the Jump Volleyball Training Tip of the Week. I hope to see you later. Ciao! Hey guys, I really want to hear from you, so make sure that you let me know what you think of these videos, and above all, let me know what you would like to learn next. It's December 1st, and there's some cool stuff coming up in December, so make sure you go on our website and sign up to our newsletter, so you don't miss any of that cool stuff in December. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.